In this video, we're going to go through ways on how you can change your advanced network settings in Windows 11. So to change your advanced um, Windows settings for your network, you come here to settings, then you come here to a network and internet, and then you scroll down to advanced network settings. Once you've done that, then you are presented with the options for either cellular, Wi-Fi, or a Bluetooth network connection. You can choose to disable any that you'd want to. You click disable and it will be disabled. And then you can click enable to enable it. To see more information about a certain connection, you click here for more, where it shows you uh, the media state, and then pipes that are being sent or received, the speed and the duration it has been running. Alternatively, we can rename this a uh, connection and put whatever name you'd want to uh, put or to name that connection. Once you're done, you click save. And then you can view additional properties about a certain connection where it shows you more about uh, IP addresses, uh, the DNS servers, the manufacturer, the description, the driver version, and even the MAC address. To edit this information, you come here to edit and then you can change if you don't want to use DCP, DHCP or you want to use the manual way. If you have done so, you click save. Then you can go back. Same with the DNS, you can do that. To go back, let's click on advanced network settings. As we go down here, on our advanced sharing settings, it allows you to set up the ways on how you want to share a, your information or connections with others that are on the same network. So for private networks, you can come here and allow Discover to be on or to be off. Or you can allow file printer and sharing. This way it is uh, a turned on or off. Public networks, you can do the same. Do you want Discover to be on? Do you want to share your files in printers? For domain networks, do you want to allow Discover and file printing? And for all networks, you can just share this connection. But remember, for all networks, you need to set encryption, either 40 bits, 56 or 128. Once you've done this, then you can go back to advanced settings. And here on data usage, it allows you to see how much data uh, the connection that you're connected to it is using. So you can also enter a data limit where you say on monthly basis, I want this uh, connection to use uh, maybe 50 gigabytes only and then you click save or one time unlimited if you want to when you want the settings um, the, the statistics or the connection to reset your data limit you can set each day of the month with the first day of the month the second day or every 10th day of the month so that it can reset uh, this data limit once you have done and are satisfied with the modifications you click save and then you go back so once you've done this, then you can go back again here and then we see hardware and connection properties. If we click this one here, then we see all information about our hardware that are connected uh, to this computer, cellular, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. And then we can, we can uh, click on these three dots to go back to our to networks and settings and then you come back to advanced here again. And then to reset uh, your network settings, if you are facing some challenges, you come here and say reset. Once you click reset, your computer uh, will be restarted. And then the network settings will be back to their defaults. And then for more network adapter options, this allows you to go back to the old uh, um, control panel uh, view that you are most familiar with in all the previous versions of Windows. Microsoft Windows so you can do the same you can enable and disable see the properties as used to uh, without facing any challenges so for firewall you click here and then you can modify your firewall settings uh, for your computer so once uh, you are satisfied with these uh, settings you can modify here how you want it to work so this is how you change your advanced settings in Windows 11 so thank you for watching and see you in the next video.